what is up my forex family okay so i was asked to do uh my fib fibonacci uh placement so you someone asked me to explain how i put fibonacci or fibs on my chart so right now we're on the four hour right we can see price has had a re a reaction to this trend line this blue trend line so examine this area we see you know double top here so then after this double top it fell quickly say we didn't say we didn't uh know any of this yet but uh just watch how i place my fibs so i'm gonna do my fibs from here so you, just remember you can run your fibs from uh this top body see what there's a body here and there's a wick here so you can run it from wick to wick uh, right here or you can run it from body to body okay just run your fibs that way and take a look but anyways you can see that that was the first move so every move you can fib you can fib from here to here measure the retrace take profit two and then you can also run fibs from here to here uh, let's let me find a point here let's yeah let's use it there so for, I went from up here which is 100% you're always point a is 100% point a Point B is 0%. Point C is the retracement. And this is where the sweet spot comes in. I've told in my training 78.6 and 61.8 is what we've, or I've labeled as the sweet spot. Let's label it. And as you can see, it came up, it made a bunch of wicks. See these little wicks in this area? So say you didn't know it was gonna fall down. Just seeing that these wicks are forming here and they're, they're, they're coming into this area between 78.6 and 61.8, I'm looking for a reversal at this point. So all I do is, I'm just gonna get rid of this label. So all I do is when, when you wanna investigate what's going on here, cause you're expecting a reversal out of this area where, you know, when we do fibs from here to here, we're measuring how far the retracement is. So that's what retracement is. We're measuring how far it goes back before it hits a certain level and starts returning on its path down. That's how you use fibs. So um, let's go back to this point here. So when you want to investigate what's going on here, we're on the four hour time frame right now. That's why I tell you guys to mark up the four hour time frame because there's a lot of opportunities in the four hour time frame. So when you want to investigate an area, then I drop down to the say, well, let's look at the one hour chart. So this box still represents the sweet spot, right? And here's a bullet or bearish, a bearish engulfing candle, candle. And it's also a double top right here, one top. 
Dew top. It's in our sweet spot. There's a bearish engulfing. You place your stop loss above somewhere around here above these wicks. See, it gives some distance away from the wick. So this will be your stop loss area. And you offer this bearish engulfing. It's also notice that it's bear, it bearish engulfed. It, it broke this weekly level. So, and then it continued down. So it just, it broke this level. So make a note of that. You know, that's why it's also a good sell right here because price is bearish engulfing into a new zone. This is the new zone because we, we usually go from weekly to weekly. See, all you gotta do is trade these zones right here. Boom, enter the trade and exit the trade, make bank. So back to our bearish engulfing, our stop loss. We place a sell here. Place a sell here. And that was based on this bearish engulfing right here. Stop loss up here. And then we have confirmation here. The EMA is crossed. So this was... This is a little bit of a different type of trade because again, you know, we can trade the one hour time frame here because right now this whole time we've been, if you've been following it, like I've been following it, we're at this trend line here, this, this blue line right here. This is a, um, a daily trend line, also a weekly trend line. So we rejected it once, rejected it twice, and now we're having a visible descent because it's now failing this weekly. This weekly has gone from support to now resistance, and now we're down here. And look, we're, we're tapping this weekly level, meaning it's testing it. Where will we go next? Anyways, there's a quick video. Hope you enjoyed that one. Thanks for watching.